any unpleasant sound is called noise. In the classroom, if all the students speak together, resultant sound produced becomes noise. When noise causes any discomfort or damage to health or resources, it is called noise pollution. For example, if a student is trying to study but all the students around her are making noise, this noise becomes noise pollution for that student. Another example is when everyone is sleeping and suddenly a driver starts honking in the society. It is also a noise pollution as it caused discomfort to all the surrounding people. Noise pollution can be dangerous to our health. Let's see few effects of it. 1. Exposure to sudden high noise level can damage the eardrum. You should never surprise someone by shouting in ears directly. 2. High levels of noise can also lead to nervous tension and increase in blood pressure. 3. Noise also disturbs sleep, increases stress, and causes headache. Like other pollution, noise pollution can also be controlled. Let's see different practices which reduced it in our day-to-day -day life. 1. The use of loudspeaker in functions should be stopped. 2. Cars and other vehicles should not produce loud sounds. 3. TV and musical systems should be listened at low volumes.